Hello from the studios at Pascual Bravo University. When people talk about renewable power, sweat isn't exactly something that springs to mind. But it sounds like the natural bodily process is actually capable of powering fitness trackers and maybe even smartwatches too. Wearable electronic devices are great tools for health monitoring, but it has been difficult to find convenient power sources for them. Now a group of scientists has successfully developed and tested a wearable biofuel cell array that generates electric power from the lactate in the wearer's sweat. It works by collecting the sweat you naturally produce and causing the ions in it to react to polymers, resulting in a reaction which creates electricity. Have you ever thought of wearing sweat-powered smartwatches? Just staying alive guzzles energy. To keep us ticking, our bodies need to burn between 2,000 and 2,500 calories per day, which actually is enough energy to power a smartphone. So if just a fraction of that energy could be siphoned, our bodies could, in theory, be used to run any number of electronic devices, from medical implants to electronic contact lenses, all without a battery in sight. Now, because this wearable biofuel cell battery is pliable, this technology can be applied to smartwatches that wrap around our wrist and be automatically charged by our sweat. As we all know, the battery life of any electronic device that we buy and use is always one of our most important concerns when we purchase any electronic device. With a perpetual power source, we never have to worry about that again. In fact, not just smartwatches, but all wearables, including fitness trackers, audio enhancing hearables that go in your ear, and Augmented reality contact lenses have a similar power problem, and now we know how to harness sweat to power all of those wearable projects. Hopefully, with further developments in wearable biofuel cells, powering portable electronics and biosensors will be no sweat. I am Gary Vernier, and this has been a Pascual Bravo English documentary. Until next time, good luck with English.